hello welcome to the another video in this video we will talk about static query and first we will understand the requirement and then we will discuss and implement it in practical um, scenario so in our previous video already uh, shown that how you can um, join two tables and you can show the result uh, uh, through the uh, query using a runnable class but in this particular video we will talk about how you can create a aggregation uh, or you can create a sum functionality in your static query for example in this case you can see that there is a department table and there it is our employee table and in this uh, employee table we have a column uh, salary but here we want to want that find out the total salary of employees department wise so from the depart employee table uh, we will get the salaries okay but we have to find out department wise you can see these two employee working in the department uh, 0101 these two employee uh, is working on the department 2 and the dep department 2 and this employee is working in the department 3 that is actually mechanical engineering department and you have to sum up the value department wise so the output should be in the department 01 the total salary will be this plus this in the department 2 the salary will be this plus this so it will be the result and at last in the department 3 only one employee is available so that is why uh, 40,000 will be the uh, result so you can achieve it using static qu query so now I'll show you uh, how you can uh, do that so here is our practical example uh, if you don't know how to uh, create a query then you can see our previous video it will help you so from the previous um, query we just uh, modified few things to achieve it so for uh, to create this query we actually need two different table that is department table that is a department table and another one is the employee table in department table only uh, in the department table only department id and department name is available and in the employee table you can see a uh, field id employee id employee name department id and salary is actually available and if you'll go to the uh, query you can see in the data source we have added our uh, department table and inside the database of that department uh, table we have added another data source uh, the name of the data source is emp table so now i'll show you that uh, in the department table i have included uh, this fields so how uh, you can add these fields we already discussed in the previous video you can see that video oh, so it will be easier for you to understand so if you don't know uh, then uh, if you don't want to see that video then uh, go to the properties and there will be any uh, one field is there that is at the uh, dynamic field so if you we'll select dynamic field to yes that uh, fields will be automatically populated and after that you have to specify if you specify no then you will be able to edit those fields or you can delete uh, from here now here uh, we are not using any uh, order by we are not using having clause but here we want to uh, print out the result department wise so that is why we are grouping the uh, grouping the result department wise based on the department okay and in the range section you can see that nothing is there now we have to add one another data source that is actually employee table because all the data uh, salary related data is present in our employee table so 
uh, first we have to create a relationship with the department table and employee table and based on the department id we have just created that relationship so how you can do that just if you'll uh, right click on the properties of the relationships there you have to specify the field id related field there is a join data source which is department id and you have to specify the department id from the uh, department table so this is the relationship uh, between the uh, employee table and the department table so here is the part of the relation now again you can see that there is a field inside this employee table this is not the regular field this is a field uh, which is based on the aggregation function you can see i have just added this sum function and when you will add this sum functionality then you have to set the properties and you have to select here the field uh, the salary field because we want to uh, aggregate or sum up the value from the salary uh, column or salary field that is why you have to specify the field that is sorry that is salary that is salary okay and you have to save it so if you'll see any range there will be no range inside it uh, we are not also adding any other uh, data source here so that is uh, important thing and if you will click on the employee table if you will go to the properties of that sorry if you will go to the properties properties of that employee table you will be able to see there is a table uh, name is there there is a table properties and name properties also you can see there is a join mode here you can specify uh, um, uh, based on the requirement you have to specify the uh, join operations uh, or join mode here as per my requirement i am using the uh, inner join because i want uh, values which is common in both the tables okay that is why i am using inner join so that's it our query is ready now i'll show you how you can access this uh, query inside a runnable class so here is our runnable class so already i i am assuming that you know how to create a runnable class uh, the inside a runnable class uh, there will be a main method and inside it we are creating the buffer of the department table also creating the buffer of the employee table and now we are accessing the query using the query class uh, and you have, in the query string you have to pass the name of your query and then you have to uh, run the query using the query run class which is the base class actually and using the while loop you can hover over all the uh, uh, iterate over or iterate through all the uh, 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 all the row present in uh, in the uh, query run uh, result so it will actually select two rows so uh, not two rows it will select the three rows and using the while loop we loop through each and every row one by one so inside this we are uh, getting a value of the department table and employee table using the get method and after that we are printing here the department id and the salary uh, which is present in the uh, employee table and this is actually a field which will return on the value of summation summation value of summary sorry uh, summation value of the salary so if you run this code you will get the output uh, like below like below means this one so it will first print the department id and the salary will be the uh, summation value of the department 01 so if we'll uh, see here you can see it is adding the value this and this so that is why 
uh, for that is why we are getting here 18,000 and after that for D02 it is actually uh, summing up 18 and 25 that is 43 43,000 and after that only D3 D30 for one row is present and the value is 40 that is why it is returning the value as 40,000 so this way actually this code is actually working so this is the example of static query I hope this is clear for you if you have any doubt you can ask it in the comment section so in the next uh, video we will try to cover uh, the dynamic query how we can access and create the dynamic query through code we will show in the next video so thanks for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next one